This is Michael Orl from MobileBurn.com and now that the embargo has lifted we're going to show you some of the new features of Windows Mobile 6.5. You can see this is the new lock screen. Uh, this is a HTC Imagio for Verizon Wireless and one of the things you notice on the lock screen is a nice very easy to read um, appointment messages, what's coming up and also we've got this little slider control here for unlocking the device. Now what I'm going to do though instead is tap on it and you'll see that it will also show me that there's a missed call and I can you know, tap on it again to make it go away or I can actually slide on this indicator here to go directly to the phone without having to navigate through um, any menus or anything like that. We're back at the lock screen and you can see that since there are no new messages or um, missed calls or anything and you know it just looks like a normal indicator you can tap on it and nothing happens this device is supposed to show missed messages uh, new email messages that arrived all that kind of stuff um, it's not really seeming to work so far though email messages and text messages just simply are not showing up a little pop-up notify notification box comes up and then it disappears and no longer triggers here so anyway let's take a look at the main menu um, first you'll notice the um, crazy theme I've got loaded uh, I've also disabled TouchFlow 3D, just so we can see the uh, Windows Mobile 6.5 interface. This is a Diane von Furstenberg theme. There's a number of them. There's some crazy uh, plaid purple plaids from Isaac Merzrahi and a couple other themes. Um, like maybe I'll show you a few later. But you'll notice the very Zune-like menu, or home screen, I guess you would call it, on the uh, Windows Mobile 6.5 platform now. Swipe controls, you see we'll go to say um, getting started here, you can see we can swipe left and right. Pretty slick looking, everything um, moves pretty nicely. Let's go into the start menu so you can start seeing how things have changed. There's a new, it used to look like honeycombs, a honeycomb start menu. The idea behind it is to give the fingers a larger target area, uh, not so much an issue on, on this device, but on uh, maybe a device like the uh, HTC Pure which has a smaller display, but it's now that the honeycomb outline's missing, it's um, really kind of jumbled looking. And um, let's take a look when we go into, you know, some sub menus. Really starts looking very, very messy. Uh, really not pleased with it. I understand what they're trying to do, but when you're trying to look through a menu, and trust me, that's what I've spent the last hour doing, scanning for something. You know, when I'm looking for something inside settings. It is really hard to follow this and scan quickly. Another thing you might notice that um, down here, the OK button is missing, and now it's a back button. It serves exactly the same purpose, though. It's the same as tapping on the X or the OK button in the upper right-hand corner. And since this is an HTC device, we still see the HTC Task Manager. You won't find that on other devices from other manufacturers. We're in the settings section of the menu, and I'm going to go into the today's screen configuration show you some other minor changes. If you look down here, you'll notice the curved corners on you know the, the tabs at the bottom of the screen. You'll also notice that the tabs move up when the uh, keyboard comes up, which makes it a lot easier to manage. In general, a lot of the hard corners and edges have been soft, softened up on the device. Um, everything's prettier looking. You can see there's finger scrolling. Um, you look at the nice labels around with the Windows Mobile def default. You can also turn that off and um, add a few other things and get back to the really old fashioned looking Windows Home screen. We'll hit the call in button here to get back to the home. You know, this is very much like what you saw in Windows Mobile 6, 6 1, or heck, even 5. If we re enable the Windows default, the zoom like home screen, you'll notice all the other things are immediately checked off. This also means that you can't configure the um, Windows default home screen. You can't remove the getting started guide or um, if you don't use email for whatever reason, you wouldn't be able to disable that. That's kind of annoying. Hit OK to get out of here. The rest of some of the settings, um, personal settings, system, This new honeycomb menu really makes things look very haphazard, though. Very displeased with it. But I do like the new home screen. It's definitely not as effective as TouchFlow 3D, which this device, of course, comes with um, by default, but it is quite pretty. Another thing with the home screen I want to point out is you can notice that you can either grab the screen and move the menu, or you can grab the selector bar and move that. 
And so it's actually quite cute how that works, and it makes a lot of sense, just depending on what you grab on the screen. So if you're only moving up two items or whatever, you can just grab it and move it there. Or if you're moving further, you can always just scroll the entire screen. It's really a, a nice effect.